Hi, I'm Mark Mancini with Vero Be Outstanding. Thanks for visiting this week. And this week's topic is a 1031 exchange I just did with our new short-term rental. So come on in. I'm following you. Now this is a three bedroom, three and a half bath home in a subdivision called Coral Cove in Alamorada, Florida. It's in the heart of Alamorada, Florida, downtown Alamorada, so to speak. Therefore, I already picked out the name. The name is called Heart of Morada. And guess what? We already have a logo for it. And since we already have a logo for it, guess what? The next thing we did was create a website. So we have a name, a logo, and a website, all done before closing. That's how you start your short-term rental. So as I mentioned, this was a 1031 exchange. I sold a property I bought 10 years ago in uh, Garden City uh, Beach, South Carolina. And it was a house I paid not a whole lot of money for. It was a bank-owned property. Property. I fixed it up, rented it for 10 years, created a bunch of wealth with the income, built up a substantial property sold it to another short-term rental investor, did a 1031 exchange to avoid a lot of taxes, and I strongly suggest you do that. We're gonna have a video on 1031 exchanges shortly. I know we talked about it in the previous one with our financial planner. I wanna give you a tour of this property though. This is gonna be an amazing property. You have a, about a four foot dunk pool. It's a private pool here, gorgeous. You've got wired speakers throughout here. There's also a community pool. What I love about this property, there's only eight homes here. So that community pool always stays empty. Plus, we've got this privacy right here. Who'd want to leave it? Now this outdoor area, this whole house came furnished. So the gentleman who had a performance did a great job of keeping everything up. He got covers for his furniture. Everything here looks brand new. It's in great shape, great outdoor seating. Strongly suggest that. And with all properties. To be VRB outstanding, you got to have a grill. Now this is a propane grill. You can do charcoal. If you do charcoal, I suggest leaving a bag for guests every week to make sure they have something to cook with. With propane, always keep a spare tank so you have two available at least for your guests. Never going to run out. So I'm sure this grill is going to get a lot of use. It will for me, that's for sure. Now the inside of the house. Come on in. Some of the decor will stay. Some will be replaced by my lovely wife's beautiful work of art because we've always put her arts, her art uh, in all of our homes because we want to give our guests a chance to purchase a memory of painting she's done in the area of the Florida Keys. So we're going to do some rearranging here. And here's why. We have a great seating area for eating, but we're licensed and can sleep six people here. There are only four chairs. VRB outstanding tip, you must have as much seating for as many people as you sleep. So we plan to move the couch over, put a little seating for two over there by the window, and have, have seating there for a total of six people. So that's the plan. We also have a very large TV that the previous owner had left for us. I'm sure our guests are going to enjoy that. We'll give the Whole quick tour. We have a half bath right here off the kitchen. Makes it convenient. We also have a beautiful kitchen here with all stainless steel appliances, all Bosch appliances. Um, and he even left us, we call uh, relaxation beverages. So when we're furnishing our short term rental, we can finish the day with that. We've already got a curing. I'm going to leave a Mr. Coffee here as well. There's no toaster. We'll have a toaster and a blender here. Those are essential. I'm also going to make sure that we have all the essential glasses. Now we have great plates. These look like the exact same ones I bought from Macy's. So we're definitely going to uh, keep those. Uh, we do have some, some glasses, but you'll see not very VRB Outstanding. We have two wine glasses, two flutes. And when you take my course at VRBOutstanding.com, you'll notice I'm very particular with my drinkware. 
So we're gonna go over all that in the course, but there are several different types of stemware you must have in your home. So let's, oh, by the way, there's an oven right here too. And on the other side is a wine refrigerator. And he left us some Cabernet, which is my favorite red. So there you go. We've got some beer, water, and Cabernet. Give you the rest of the tour here. This is the one of the owner's closets, actually. We have a lot of uh, storage back here. Left us a couple more beers as well and some soda. There's a tankless hot water heater in there, which is phenomenal to have. In here is uh, going to be more storage for the owner. Some great cleaning supplies in here. Make sure all these are locked and they're keyed alike. That will keep your cleaning staff happy. Always in your bedrooms. Great, you already beat us to it. Put in fans. All the lighting here is LED. You always want LED lighting in your short-term rentals. This is one of the bedrooms. And uh, also each of the bedrooms, awesome, they have a full bath. Right on in here with a private uh, commode area. Now I'm pretty excited about this property because even though it's only a third of the size of our previous home. My previous home was 6,000 square feet. This one is 1,860 square feet, but it's a lot newer, which means less maintenance. And it's also uh, going to bring in about the same amount of rent, uh, over 200,000 a year in rent. Uh, so with the overhead being lower and the amount of rent we'll be able to get in, uh, this should be a very profitable property for us. Now, I do want to show you what I think is a really amazing part. We already have a Hollywood table and chairs here. So the landscaping comes along with the HOA. We have a Hollywood table and chairs we're going to put out here. Always want to use Hollywood. It lasts forever. Don't use wood. Don't use cheap plastic. Hollywood. It's a lot of money, but it's worth it. I just want to give you a quick view, so hopefully the blowers aren't going. But this is the bay. Beautiful bay views. We've got boats. And about a quarter of a mile north of here is a famous bar and restaurant called Lorelei's. Known for their sunsets. You go there every night. The parking lot's packed. There's a line of 100 people waiting to get in. So Lorelei's you probably have heard of. And uh, it's right down the road. What we plan to do is simply kayak there because it's only a quarter of a mile away. Now here's another bedroom. Two of the bedrooms here have queen beds and one has a king. These beds are literally brand new. He barely used this house, but we're replacing all the queen beds with king. I do that because you want to put the biggest bed possible that can fit in a room. And we go over that in my course, it's essential we, we, we do that. So even though I've got a brand new bed and bedding, we're gonna replace it with the king. And in fact, I'll give you a little secret from our course. We use Tempur-Pedic adjustable beds and we advertise the heck out of it. People can come here, not only be in a king bed, but be in a brand name adjustable bed. So that gives people the, um, the added benefit of, uh, of booking our property and, and being able to sleep a pleasant night's sleep in a strange place. Pleasant, plenty of closet space, but we're also gonna get some luggage racks because luggage racks are essential. Again, another bathroom in here because all these have full baths with a commode that actually has a private room for it as well. Then we're gonna go back to what they call a master or the primary uh, bedroom in just a second. <clears throat> These houses are all a little bit different. Here they have a big laundry room, and this one has a great utility sink. What some of the other houses did, they put the laundry room in one of the closets downstairs with stacking washer and dryers, and they made this into a bunk bedroom so they could sleep eight people instead of six. So I think that's a better setup, but it's too late. We'll be stuck with six. Now, the other thing I have to get rid of, you never want cameras inside of your short-term rental. 
and he had a couple of these in here and we want to make sure that um, we remove those before we have any paint gas in here because that is no bueno. This is the king bed. This is considered the master or the primary suite. We're going to make sure all the beds are nice king beds because uh, that's what you want in all the, all the bedrooms. You'll notice too, that if you saw in the kitchen, we've got a cordless phone. Our city requires us to have a corded phone. So we have a corded phone service coming in from our cable provider, and that's required to get a short-term rental license along with a map to show people how to get out in case of a fire. Always have a license if you're in an area that requires it. Never circumvent the law. And this is the master bathroom, which my wife said will be hers. So I'll never see the inside of that shower. Decorated in a very much a Keys motif, but it's a, a great size home and good use of space. The home is not connected to the other home, it's freestanding. And another thing I want you to remember is when you look at homes that are by the water, you want to look at flood zones. This is in the flood zone X. Now, FEMA just did their mappings very recently. In fact, the early part of 2022, the new mappings came out. This went from an X to, I believe, an AE6 or so. Um, I still think this area is not going to flood. X means you're in good shape. VE does not stand for very elevated. VE is the worst. So if you're in a VE flood zone, you're going to get water. So just anticipate that. Anyway, this is the new home we got with the 1031 Exchange. We're going to have more videos on how we transform this house from VRB Ordinary to VRB Outstanding. And stay tuned because we're going to have that video for you next week. I want to thank you for joining this week. And please hit like and subscribe below. And don't forget to sign up for our course at Vera Beyond Standing. Have a great week.